entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Where's Walton Joe? They're waiting up the other end of town. Woody, let's you and me join Walton Joe. The rest of you stay here. Come on. line, he must be a 90-pounder. Yeah, that's a habit, Annie. He's hooking on to more than she can handle. <laughs> you mean I gotta waste all these worms? They're beauties! I'll take your word for it. Tag, listen, I want you to ride out and find Lofty. Where would I look for him? Try the canyon road to the back ranches. Ask questions, but find out where he is. What's the matter, Annie? What's wrong? Those ranch foremen are looking for trouble now. Lofty knows why. Go on, get started. coming to, sending for thieves and outlaws. Sure, they're from the state prison. They work at the Crombie Ranch. I got orders to deliver them to the sheriff. The sheriff's over in Clifton. I'm his niece. Perhaps I can help. All right, where do I take him? I suppose I gotta miss the next stage out of here. You're going back on this wagon. Take your cheap labor and get out of here. I got orders from the state. And we've got guns. You know, this is your bright idea, Annie, and it's not gonna work. Well, you won't even give them a chance. They had their chance before they got behind bars. They'd be taking jobs away from good men, depriving their families. Let's get him out of here. Come on, let's go. Put the arms on him. Handcuff him to the seat. Leave him alone. That's all, Greg. Take your men and get riding. Sure, anything you want. Let the stirbirds stick around if they can take it. Thanks. I guess I can take that stage after all. I sent for the deputy. We'll get your prisoners out to the Crombie Ranch. I'm sure one of them can drive. There's two men you can depend on. They're a trustee. He's Steve Bailey, in for the big mail robbery. I heard about it. They let his brother Duke go for lack of evidence. I think they held the wrong brother. You'll do, Steve, if you want to pick up those reins. I come in pairs. Mike's all right, too. You can both get up there. Here's the keys that go with him. But I wouldn't turn him loose till you get to the ranch. I hope it works out better than it started. Boy, this is like old times. Back to nature with the birds and flowers. A picnic with a pick and shovel. You and your precious convicts. I'll be sleeping with my eyes wide open. That's one I'll have to learn. All right, Steve, let them roll. Bunkhouse. I'll find Mr. Crombie. There's a note on that door. Get out! Look 
at your hat. Huh? Go on, look at it. <laughs> look at yours. What am I doing here? All right, boys, pile out. Go on, shoot, let him have it. Get down. This is your job, Steve. Get their handcuffs off. You had a clear shot. You couldn't have missed them. Well, I know who they are, and I left them a calling card to go shopping for new sombreros. Steve! Mr. Crombie. Now you see, Annie, you see what you've done? Talking me into saving convicts from stone walls. Get him untied. They, they threatened me. Told me I, I couldn't use criminals for work in the ranch. But you needed help. You said so. Help you couldn't afford. Well, these are part of the men? Yes, and the others are outside, and they're counting on this. I didn't think you'd let the big ranchers bluff you out of it. They won't be bluffing John Crombie. I'm a friendly, peaceable man, but I'll fight if I have to. You're late, Lofty. The war has started and the first battle's already over. Tag told me about those foremen. That's my fault. I'm trying to talk those other ranchers into taking more of these men. Well, here's one man we can depend on. Mr. Crombie said he'd fight him to the last bullet. I did? I said that? <laughs> Boys, I'd like for you to meet your new boss. As long as you play fair and square with him, he'll give you good food, a decent bed to sleep in, and a chance to prove that you belong back with your friends and families. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Beats looking out iron bars. Good luck, Mr. Crombie. Uh, you're coming back. Uh, you'll be around. Sure. We'll keep an eye on things. Uh, one of you uh, put the team up. You've got a fried chicken supper coming, but it needs cooking. This is going to be almost too easy. Six of us, only one of him. Look, cut me out. Just make that five. You got outside help coming. That brother of yours. If he gets here, I'm riding along. Who said I was leaving? Where are they? Down the road away at the Crombie Ranch. You know, the people are fighting mad about bringing in convicts. Maybe we should ask them about visiting hours. We're not waiting for any engraved invitations. like I thought. The Bailey brothers stick together, don't they? Stay with it. Well, it's the kid himself. Hiya, Steve. Gee, it's good to see you. I thought you'd be around. Yeah. Yeah, and I brung Mears along, too. I didn't want anybody saying that Duke Bailey left his brother doing time. This is for you. I don't want it, Duke. You what? You don't want it. You hear that, Mears? I think he likes this pretty suit they gave him. I just don't like shooting my way out of here. That's oh, all. That's all right, kid. I understand. We're holed up back in those hills there. I'm going to leave this where you can get to it real easy. You might change your mind. Now, Steve, do. Any men missing? Don't seem to be. Duke Bailey's been asking where they had prisoners working. That's Steve's brother. Well, Steve's down to the end of the fence there.
Turn around and face toward the fence. Well, you don't have to do that. Steve's all right. He wouldn't be carrying a gun. Serving time, isn't he? All right, that's it. You just had to be sure. Steve, you and the others have been given this chance because the jails are overcrowded. And it would take only one man like your brother to destroy everything that we've been trying to do. Well, I'm still here. And you better keep it that way. Or it means that every one of you goes back. All right, back to the wagon. What are you giving us trouble for? We didn't do anything. They're running away and shooting at the law. We didn't know who you were. I know you. You're Steve's brother, Duke Bailey. And we don't want you around here. Is it some kind of a crime dropping around to see your own family? A social call, I suppose. You're clearing out of this valley, both of you. Next time I see either one of you around here, I'm running you in. All right, on what charge? I don't seem to remember any court of law looking for me. Maybe that luck won't last. We'll find our own charge. Vagrancy, disturbing the peace, and trespassing on private range. Now get to your horses. What about our guns? I'll have the stage drop them off at the trading post. You can pick them up on the way back where you came from. I told you we should ask about visiting out. Oh, shut up. Well, go on and say it. Me and my convict improvement society, the Oblo branch. Anything you do, Annie. It's all right with me. Including getting you involved in fights you shouldn't even have to be bothered with. I've been watching them pretty close. You don't have any guns missing? No, I've been checking on that, too. They're locked up and they ain't been tampered with. You think these men ought to go back, huh? No, 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 no. They're staying here. They're helping me. If you want the real trouble, it's Greg and them foreman blaming the convicts for everything that happened. Just imagine. Now go on, take him away. You're watching somebody. And you're not helping matters any. All right, you wait till I'm sure and send you chasing home all the time. Well, aren't we dressed up all of a sudden? 
That's the trouble with those six-gallon sombreros. They accidentally get ventilated sometimes. Why don't you start worrying about the raids and killings that have been going on? That's exactly what I am doing. Starting with the two men that shot up Crombie's place, trying to scare out the convict labor. Come on, Greg. Women all think alike. You can't win any argument. Yeah, pick on their poor little innocent jailbirds and starts breaking their hearts. I haven't finished talking to you yet. Leaving a lady sitting down. Don't you try that rope on some of those convicts. We didn't do anything. You forgot your manners. I'll take your guns, lady. Go back to the college. Jailbird is still working overtime. Badly hit, Lofty. We still had the range wrapped around him before he blacked out. This stage didn't even carry an express box. The mail sack is missing. I suppose we'll get the blame for this one, too. No, you couldn't have done it. Your guns haven't been fired. I'm deputizing you and Woody. We'll ride back along the stage road. Here you are, Lofty. We're not riding anywhere. Let him figure it out. Now, isn't that too bad? Only it's six months in jail for a man that refuses to be deputized. Riding with us, boys? Come on, Annie. Let's get started. Listen, you're not the sheriff yet. Well, gosh, I can't play sheriff just sitting in the office. Well, all right, go ahead and lock it up and go fishing. Do anything you want, but you're not going with us. Ran in here and found him. You're hiding something. Now let's have it. I. I can't tell you. This means you'll never get out of jail. Well, I didn't want to say, only. Steve had a gun. His brother Duke gave it to him. He had it hidden in his bunk. Here it is. It's been fired, too. I can't believe it. Not Steve. Now we all gotta go back. Just on account of him. Lofty! One of the men getting away. Woody, stay here and watch the other prisoners. I 
I knew you'd come back. Yeah, and you're getting me out of this. That gun you left me. One of those stir-crazy fools grabbed it, and I got blamed for a killing. He did you a favor. This is kind of like a family reunion, Steve. We're traveling. Get packing. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta look through all this mail. This is a present from the stage lines. You pulled a lot of hold-ups that we got blamed for. Hey, Duke. We got company. A gun belt. It's gone. It's there, hooked on that line. What the? Hey, bring him down here. Who is he? He's the kid from the sheriff's office. Who's with you? Who sent you here? I was just going fishing. Fishing for gun belts. <laughs> oh. All right, Mears, laugh that one off. OK, kid, I'm taking you along. There's a safe passage out of here. Let him go. What are you talking about? Let him go! Go on, son, get right. You never will smarten up, will you, kid? See you at the next family reunion. you to stop playing sheriff. It just runs in the family, I guess. Now, Steve. Thanks. Annie, you never missed in your life. Well, I guess that shot kind of slipped. You means that's the only way to stop Duke from shooting me. Still leaves you with a charge of killing Crombie. That's why I missed. You can pick Mike up for that one. That was Steve's gun in his own bed. Yeah, and Mike was too anxious for us to find it. Steve wouldn't be foolish enough to hide the murder gun under his own mattress. Still wasn't very smart, Steve, trying to make a break for it. I didn't think anybody would believe me. And Steve helped me escape, too. They were going to use me for a free ticket. Now, I know I'm going to see that state parole board. Penitentiary's still going to be overcrowded. He loses one prisoner, and gets two more. You did a great job, Annie. I guess we were a little bit wrong. Well, anybody can make a mistake. That's what I've been saying. They deserve another chance. And they'll get it, too, when I'm wearing that sheriff's badge. Oh. 